All right, July 26, 2020, Redline Nova update. <sighs> so here's what we've got. I went ahead and uh, I got my new DSC front end uh, set in place on the frame jig. Got my core support set in place. I intend to make a new core support. I don't want this dirty old looking piece of crap on here. Plus the opening is just not near big enough for the size radiator I've got to have to cool that supercharged engine and so on. So <clears throat> I got that on there. I went ahead and hung my inner fenders right here and as well as hung one fender on it. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm still trying to figure out what I can run in terms of how much size front tire. Um, I would love to do a 19 on this thing, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, I've got my IFS uh, wheel and tire gauge bolted up to the hub, which by the way, you can visit those folks at ifabspeed.com. They sell a really affordable, cool little uh, tool. So <clears throat> what I learned today is if you run off and you, ah, there we go, you turn it all the way, you'll notice, you hear that? That is where the tool is hitting the, uh, the inside frame rail. So I have mocked it up using a 2010 uh, Corvette Z06 front wheel, and it ain't gonna fit. That's a 19 inch front wheel. It's about 10 and a half inches wide, and it ain't gonna fit. So um, back to the drawing board in terms of what size wheel I'm going to be able to put on this thing. Not entirely sure. I also have super duper horrible, terrible, awful news. Um, you'll notice if we have a look up underneath the car, have a look up underneath it, I've taken the oil pan off, right? Well, the reason for that is because the damned oil pan that I got from Jags won't fit. It fit the Heights front end, but it doesn't fit the DSE front end. So um, I'm uh, sending the oil pan back to the folks at uh, Jags. There she is, packaged up, ready to go. I will say that I really appreciate that the folks at Jags have got a 90-day return policy. That's amazing to me. That's like three months to return an oil pan, which I'm like 20 days outside of. So I can actually return this $300 oil pan instead of just absorb it as a friggin' loss. So that's really great. Uh, thanks to the folks at Jags for that. My really, really, really bad news that I have is in this little bag right here. Can you see that really well? That is a bunch of damn needle bearings and other various little pieces. There's some aluminum shards in there. Uh, where I found that stuff was in the oil pickup that originally came out of this motor. So um, I know that at one time the folks at uh, Texas uh, 21st Century Muscle Cars had put a new rocker uh, in this thing and I'm really hoping that those parts that I found in the oil pickup, the, the original stock one that came out of this motor, I'm hoping that those little parts that I have found were from that old repair and they've just been sitting in the bottom of the motor. I don't really know. I've got to uh, take those parts to an engine builder and ask them, you know, where did these come from? And then talk to the folks at uh, 21st Century Muscle Cars that built this LS3 and go from there. So last thing you ever want to do is discover random tiny engine parts in the base of your oil pan. So yeah, that blows. It blows really, really, really hard. So if you want to follow more of my build, uh, click subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you would. Helps me get some better rankings on YouTube. You guys have a great weekend. Thank you for watching.